very much. And Todd, who was horrible to play against? Andre Agassi. Really? Mm. Um, because tennis is all about matchups and how you go against a certain person's style, your strengths to their weaknesses, vice versa. And my game style to him was um, chop chop. Um, he everything I did, he just did so much better. So it was so hard for me to play against him. Every other great player um, around those times, I used to win sets off. I, I had wins over, you know, Courier, uh, Stick, Krychek. Um, uh, uh, who else? I'm not going to say one other because that's in that question that I asked earlier. Um, but multiple, multiple top ten players at their best. Agassi, I, I couldn't win a set. And so that was quite frustrating. He's, he, he wrote a very good book, didn't he? Have, have you he read did. it? He did. He did. Um, and I know we've got a couple of kids here. I'll try and get this one over their head. Um, <laughs> but there's a great story in, um, that, that I have in his book. Um, he was having troubling times um, with, with taking a few tablets. And um, I, my wife and I were flying from uh, Orlando to Atlanta to Stuttgart, which is around the time in his book that he talks about these issues um, coming up in his life. And he played Malavia, Washington and lost the plot at that tournament. But I got on a, a business class flight with my wife overnight and it was really sort of strange because Andre walks on and he never flew commercially, he always flew privately. And he gets on and he saw us, there's not many there, and he sat next to me. I go, you know, mate, and we chatted, and he chatted, 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 chatted for about three or four hours, to the point of, I'm, I'm sorry, mate, but I need to get some sleep. And he goes, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, of course you do. And I, I got a little bit of sleep, woke up, and he said, well, I'm so sorry, I kept you awake all night. Um, I've got a couple of sleeping pills for you if you need to, you know, get in and get a good sleep before we, we start the tournament. I said, no, I'm okay. He said, no, take him anyway, just in case. So we put him in our little sidekick, and that was all good. And two weeks later, uh, we finish in Paris Indoor, we're flying back home again, and Tash and I couldn't sit next to each other. So um, she decides it was a daytime flight to take one of the sleep pills. However, um, it wasn't a sleeping pill. And she had a massive um, reaction to this pill, um, to the point where um, none of it went well. I had a wheelchair off the plane eventually. I, I, um, we had to put her in a hotel in Atlanta. She slept for 14 hours straight. Um, so it did eventually work. Um, and I had to ring him up and said, mate, I think you got your Saturday night pills mixed up with your sleeping pills. And then um, in the end, um, he agreed um, to, to, no, no, I think it's just a reaction. But that was all around the time in that book, Kate. So uh, that was a, an intriguing story that uh, never made it to air, just to hear. Sure, my goodness me, gosh, was Tash dancing up and down the aisles on that plane? Uh, she could see through the floor and she, she had a large hand and she thought that, uh, that, she, that I didn't belong to her anymore. <laughs> Golly! Oh dear! Go on. And Andre actually went on to marry uh, Steffi Graf. So we're he did. About he did. But let me just let me let me clarify by saying that he is one of the real gentlemen of our sport too. And we don't see him enough anymore. It's a real shame because he's articulate. He did a bit of coaching with Djokovic, of course, and that was reasonably successful. Um, but he is a really smart guy and I, I kind of miss that he's not as involved in tennis as some of the others are because I think he, he has so much more to give. But, you know, in a way, he probably, um, him and Steffi are such a super couple in the sense that it's, it's hard for them to be normal within our environment. Mm.